Well, as the lava continues to flow through the vegetation, University of Hawaii scientists and students have developed a model to track the smoke and to see where it goes. KITV4's Cam Tran shows us how it works and how you can track it too. Though the lava flow on the Big Island burns hundreds of miles away, University of Hawaii professor Stephen Businger can track the smoke without leaving his office in Manoa. Businger and PhD students created a smoke model which incorporates emissions and weather conditions to see how far the smoke travels and how thick it is. The dispersion determines how thick the plume is, if you will. In other words, if the wind is blowing very strongly, then, then you have a dilution or less uh, concentration. UH student Andre Patentias manually inputs the latest lava movements every day so the models can track the particles. We kind of match that up with the, what the satellite's seeing, and then we have to estimate how much area is burning, and we use a, a, a smoke model for that that is specifically for uh, forest fires. And uh, the tricky part is, is that the lava doesn't burn like a forest fire burns, so we have to kind of uh, scale it down a little bit. The scientists also consider vegetation the lava is burning through to determine the emissions. The models go 48 hours out and focus mainly in the Pune district. This is important. Uh, I mean, you can wake up and see it out your window, uh, reduce visibility, and then if you have any kind of asthma or, um, or respiratory problems, uh, it's going to affect you. You know, you're going to have a hard time breathing. That's why the model is crucial to those who live around the flow front. Cam Tran, KITV4 News. And you can view the smoke model yourself. Just go to the As Seen On section of KITV.com.